through our country and here in Ohio, uh, there's even a greater focus now on getting people vaccinated. So there is a Cleveland group made up of aunts, uncles, grandmothers, and neighbors. They're taking a grassroots approach to make sure their communities are protected. News 5's Jay Jarvis shows us how they're getting the word out. Listen, I heard you haven't had your vaccine yet. Marilyn Burns has a way with words that just makes you feel at ease. Listen, we're going to have to talk about that, okay? It's why people across the city of Cleveland have trusted her to advocate for them for the last four decades. She spent nearly half of that time fighting specifically for the people who live in Woodhill homes, earning the title of queen. For Woodhill, I came there and I saw a lot of disparities that truly, truly broke my heart and I didn't understand it. The latest problem she's tackling vaccine hesitancy in communities of color by using her influence and personal experience. I prayed on it. I talked to people. I did a lot of research being a researcher myself, so it, it, it took me time. But once I did this, I was truly happy. It felt like weight lifted off of my shoulder. This is our community. And now people can see her testimony and others. The truth is, if we don't protect ourselves, nobody will. On TV, billboards, and RTA shelters across the city as part of a partnership with Guardian CLE. It's an organization made up of everyday people from neighborhoods all over Cleveland with the goal of helping people get the facts about the COVID-19 vaccine and making them more comfortable with the idea of getting vaccinated. It helps to kind of move the campaign forward when they see someone that has a familiar face. Kim Fields is another Cleveland guardian who has been a community leader in Buckeye Woodhill for the last 20 years. She joined the campaign out of concern for her community and knowing that trust and familiarity are the keys to solving this vaccine puzzle. We're not just saying that, oh, we expect you to do this. We've actually done it too. And you have an opportunity to see that we survived getting vaccinated. And so you will as well. So far, both women say they've been successful changing some people's minds. I have had people approach me that I know this is, you know what, your, your, your commercials are so authentic. We need to end this as a community. And so sincere, you have convinced me to go have the vaccine. But they say the work is far from over. The campaign doesn't stop until the virus is gone for me. And so I'm gonna to continue to encourage people to get vaccinated. Because I wanna be able to hug everybody again and tell them how much I love them. And if your doctor and your mother haven't turned into zombies by now. In Cleveland. Then you won't either. Jay Jarvis, News